Now, uh, moving on. So, you've got the Drake sword now, hopefully. If you haven't, make sure you get it. Because, uh, yeah. So you're strong enough to wield it at this yes, point? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the, the requirements for that are very low. Very, very low. Like, 16 strength and 10 dexterity is practically the starting uh, stuff, uh, st starting stats for some classes. So it's extremely easy to get. Um, oh, so now we are going on, uh, so in this video, we're going to see the, um, the next bonfire. We're also going to see the armored boar, kind of mini boss fight. Mm. And uh, a couple knights. I think this is the first time that we see knights in this game. Uh, yeah, it definitely is the first time. And uh, also we're going to see where the blacksmith is on this uh, kind of upper earth. So you see, I just knocked that dude's body off that had like a little glowing some item. But again, it's rarely good stuff. Like most enemies just drop garbage. Ironically, rats can actually drop very good items. <laughs> that is counterintuitive. It is. Uh, later on in the game, you're going to get a checkpoint or a bonfire near uh, a great area where you can just farm rats for a long time. And I do that. Uh, rats can drop humanity, which is a very important item in this game. Um, don't go up those stairs that are to your left right there. Oh, there's the Undead Parish. I forgot the name of this section. Uh, at the top of those stairs is another one of those Black Knights. Uh, the Black Knights are very strong and I would not recommend doing those unless you uh, set that out to be your goal for the section. Like those are, <coughs> excuse me, for the most part the Black Knights uh, that are kind of spread throughout the game are avoidable. Mm -hmm. But they're extremely hard to kill. But and they they usually have pretty good rewards for killing them. So I'm waiting for this dude to get a little bit clo closer so I can kill him separately from the boar. And uh, to kill the boar, you uh, and there's gonna be one guy hidden to the right right here. So you just step out a little bit and he'll come walking towards you. Uh, to kill the boar, you need to jam your sword in its asshole. His cornholio. <laughs> he needs. DPE for his bunghole. His weak spot is his back, so just keep inching forward until you get him to start charging at you. And then as soon as you see him flinch, turn around and sprint and get the hell out of there. Try to like duck around that corner right there and uh, uh, avoid his first attack. Uh, you can block most of his attacks. I think there might be some attacks that you can't block quite yet. Uh, but now is about the time when you're going to want to learn how to do the backstab. Um, do not hold block when you're trying to do the backstab. You just need to get like right behind the enemy and then hit R1 and you do a massive amount of damage to them. Now, I got really lucky here. I didn't get this item my first time through. I got a special fang boar helm, which is an awesome helmet. Yeah. That just looks fucking sweet. Yeah. Um, it has pretty good stats for a helmet um, and I do end up using it throughout a lot of this game but it's not like a helmet is really going to make a big difference mm -hmm. in like if you don't get that don't worry because it's not like that is the make or break thing it just looks cool it just looks fucking awesome and it it, it is a good helmet and if you get it use it but it's not like it's, it's not like that sword that I have that I would say is a make-or-break thing mm -hmm. that makes this game so much easier early on. Like, infinitely easier early on. Yeah. Um, yeah. So are the Black Knights the knights who say, Me! Uh, yes, exactly. They are the knights who say, No, no, no. Yes. No? Yes? <laughs> they are the... He says, None shall pass. And then... He uh, and he says, but I have to go through there. Or I don't, I don't remember the quote exactly. And he says, then you shall die. And then, merely a flesh wound. I'm I'm butchering this. I don't even know what you're saying. Oh no, no, you you don't remember that? I mean, it's uh, the the one the part of Monty Python that I'm quoting right now. Mm -hmm. The knight actually looks a lot more like that than the knights who say knee. The the, the triple headed one. 
Yeah, exactly. And and I remember them having kind of like uh, fur armor on, mm. kind of like fur coats or something like that. And the the Black Knight, uh, he's the one that's like, oh, it's merely a flesh wound. And then he's the one that gets cuts down to his stump. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> come back here and I'll bite your ankles. <laughs> I, I do remember that part. Yeah. So, anyway, um, kill those dudes. Um, oh, I should probably make a video explaining how encumbrance works in this. Is it different than Oblivion? Uh, yes. So, you can see right now I'm moving kind of slow, and that's because the helmet put me over a certain weight threshold. So, when you put points into um, endurance, you increase your maximum equipment load, right? And uh, let's just say, for example, my equipment load is 100 mm -hmm. right now. It's not. I think it's closer to 50. Um, but um, your speed and how fast your character moves... Oh, I think... Oh, I, I talked about this during the live stream. I've been live streaming a ton of this game. If uh, anybody watching this is interested in seeing that. Um, I, I always post links to it on Twitter. Um, if you want to see what I'm streaming. Anyway, so the way encumbrance works is, let's say you have 100 total equipment load available, right? Uh, if you're between 0 and 25 of that 100 used, then you are moving as fast as you possibly can. If okay. you're between 25 and 50, you're moving slightly less fast. If you're between 50 and 100, I mean 50 and 75, mm -hmm. even slower in between 75 and 100, uh, you are the slowest as possible, and that um, in uh, that influences how fast you walk, how fast you recover from getting attacked. Um, I believe it also affects how fast you recover that green endurance bar when you like let go of the shield and you want to recover it really quickly. Uh huh. Um, so it's very good to have to. I, I like to stay in the um, the second tier between if, 25 and 50. Uh -huh. um, if you're between 50 and 75, you get kind of sluggish. But um, a, with in a couple videos from now, I'm going to show you how to kill a boss that gets you a special ring that gives you significantly increased um, weapon load, so you can hold, so you can wear super heavy armor but move super fast with it. Seems pretty helpful. It is very helpful. Um, I highly recommend doing that. Uh, it's, I've labeled all the videos with like the name. I, I don't remember the name of the ring that you get from killing him off the top of my head, but um, it's incredibly helpful to have. Um, so now is the first uh, mini night, and again, hopefully you can get a backstab on this guy up here. Um, <coughs> If you're trying to stab someone in the back, you don't have to do it while they don't know you're there. Like during that boar, I got it when obviously he knew I was right there. But you can sneak up behind people too, and uh, just by like walking slowly and um, stab them in the back. And mm -hmm. doing like, I don't know, probably three to four times a normal attack worth of damage. That's pretty... Uh... Yeah. Oh, it's Pretty extremely important. Yeah. And it's it's a great way to take out the Black Knights and uh, the the boss that's going to be in a few videos where um, you get that encumbrance ring. Mm -hmm. um, plus, it's always good to, like, being fast is so incredibly helpful in this game for, like, rolling out of the way of attacks and versus boss fights. Um, it's just all around freaking awesome. Um so we're getting closer to the bonfire, to the next bonfire. Uh, the next one is close to a new shortcut that you're going to be able to open to get back to uh, the Firelink Shrine. Mm -hmm. Those elevators that I was talking about before mm -hmm. that I kind of rolled under to get to uh, those early treasure chests in the game. So uh, we got one more knight coming up and then a couple more basic guys. Uh, to the right is this one basic spear guy, and then to the left is the knight. So don't run out there and try to kill them. Uh, try to bait them down into this hall. It looks like the hall's too narrow to swing in. It is. It's actually really tough. Um, I think I end up leading him back out, out of that hall. 
But, you know, just don't walk out. Like, I'm expecting him to show up behind me at any second. But, in fact, I hadn't triggered him to show up that first time. Uh, so there he is, yeah. Yeah, the halls are kind of shitty. Like, you're so, like when you're swinging your sword, you can actually hit the walls, and it, it can really fuck with your attack. Um, but uh, you can also, like, you know, sometimes you'll hit the wall, but you'll kind of hit him with the follow-through, and mm -hmm. you still do damage. Um, yeah, so it's not, uh, it's not like a, a death trap fighting in a narrow hallway like this. But it certainly makes it more difficult. That guy's cape is like nuts. Yeah, the the dead body physics in this game are kind of crazy. Like yeah. they, they just turn to rubber and they like get caught on your feet all the time. <laughs> it's really strange. Uh, like I don't know if I would prefer it to be that they're just like dead and don't move after they die. But I always like the ragdoll. I do well. I, I like the ragdoll, like when you shoot someone with a rocket launcher, and they yeah. just go, whoa, 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 but not necessarily when they're like on the ground, and you're like dragging them. Yeah, when you're dragging them along with you to, and they're like weightless. Yeah, exactly. It's strange. Um, so just kill this guy. Don't go straight forward yet. You are very close to the checkpoint, and if you go that way, uh, you're probably well. Okay, so there's this big church on the left up here. There's a couple. Um, there's two mini bosses in there as well as three of those knights. Um, so you don't want to go in there until you get that checkpoint. That's really close. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll be showing off. How, I'll, I'll be showing you how to kill those guys. And, uh, I think in the next few videos, I, I don't go up to the gargoyles in the bell tower yet. I, I do a little bit more of exploring and killing those other black knights and uh, uh, getting that in, uh, encumbrance ring in the next few videos before I go to the gargoyles. Store up. If it requires 